John John here with John's Conscious Life back with another recipe test video from the Eat to Live cookbook and today I'm going to be doing a acorn squash stew with Brussels sprouts and it seems like I'm doing a lot of soups and soup related things well it's because I like soups and soups related, soup related things so and it's a good time of year for it it's getting cooler so it's nice to have a nice warm soup or stew to help fill you up and it's something quick and easy to take for lunches as well throughout the week so um, I'm going to get started on that. I'll show you what I've got here as I'm prepping it along as usual and we'll get things going. So I've got the uh, onion and garlic just kind of water sauteing there for a few minutes before I add the other veggies in. Okay, so after the onions and garlic uh, softened up a little bit, after just maybe like four or five minutes, I just added the other veggies. We've got some fennel, some Brussels sprouts, some acorn squash, and then some like sage and rosemary and black pepper just for flavor. So I'll let that go for probably about another 10 minutes, let things, uh, I'll bring that to a boil and let that cook up till everything's kind of softened up and I'll add the rest of it near the end. Alright everyone, so at this point I've added the dried apricot and an apple. So it's really giving it a lot more thickness and texture. And everything in there is nice and cooked up and soft, so I'm going to add some beans and um, some, what was it, beans and yes, balsamic vinegar for a little bit more flavor. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so everything's in the pot there now. Just a matter of making sure everything gets heated up. Now I've got things pretty uh, coarsely chopped. You can chop things finer if you like, of course, but I don't mind if it's a little bit chunky. Um, you know, it's hearty and it at least gives the illusion that it's filling me up more, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't mind it. But yeah, of course you can chop things a little smaller if you like. But um, this recipe is supposed to serve four, I think. And yeah, I mean, it, it's a pretty good pot full. Of course, I'll probably eat like two bowls, maybe uh, one if I put it over some rice or whatever, but I think this is going to be really good. So I'm going to let this just go a little bit longer, guys, and... Um, just kind of cook throughout and let that balsamic vinegar really soak through and uh, I'll give you guys a taste test in a little bit okay guys I'm back I've got the finished product here let it cool a little bit I don't know I can't really tip that so you can see it but uh, it's looking and smelling amazing so I'm gonna give it a taste test here mmm that's amazing. So many good different flavors going on there. You know, you've got the beans, squash, apple. It's all just coming together. So it's a very good, um, very good fall stew, if you will. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat that. But um, this again was a pretty easy one to make. Um, really, there was only about maybe 10 or 15 minutes worth of prep time. Probably took me a little bit longer to prep the acorn uh, squash than it would most people because it's the first time I've ever really had to cut one up and peel it and stuff. But you know, you live and learn. But yeah, if I can do it, anybody can. Um, and it just it looks amazing. And again, this is going to be a, a lower sodium meal because it's from the Eat to Live cookbook. You can add salt to taste if you like, but you really don't need it. Um, yeah, I mean, you can change up spices, you can change up 
the flavors that you want to add in, but I think this is a really good thing to make and it's going to be great for lunches for the week as well. I'll get a few days out of it anyway, but um, and it didn't take that long to make. Uh, you added a couple different things during different stages because things take longer to cook, but overall, I mean, it really, because I was filming it took a little bit longer, but if I was just going along and making it, you know, and not having to worry about filming each segment and stuff, I could have easily had this done in a half an hour. So, uh, really, really good. Very yummy. And I recommend it to anybody who likes a nice squash soup or stew. And it would be really good over some rice as well. So, that's it for me though today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you so choose. And again, if there's a... Uh, a recipe from the Eat to Live cookbook you'd like me to test out, um, let me know. I'll give it a whirl. Um, actually, if there's a recipe that you have that you would like me to check out that isn't from that cookbook, I'd be happy to give that a try as well. Um, if I can get all the ingredients, obviously. So, um, But thanks for watching, guys. I'll do this uh, again. have another one coming for you next Monday. And until then, we'll talk to you later. Bye.